This is the 2023 Brewtubers Online Brewers Club Yeast Experiment, British Brown Ale. Thanks to our sponsors, Imperial Yeast, Five Star Chemicals, Yakima Valley Hops, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Store, and Brewers Hardware. Let's get tasting. Hey guys, Matt here from Rector Brewery. We're going to do another uh, beer review here. This is of the 2023 Brewtubers Yeast Experiment. Uh, this one comes from Big Dog Brewing. This is Dave Phelps's uh, version here. And he's calling this the Bulldog British Brown Ale. Uh, he used Fermentus Safale T58 and says ABV is 5.4%. He's got a nice Bulldog picture right there on the can. Very nice. I think most of us are canners by now. It's actually the same size can I use. Let's see what we got. Nice pop on it. I did pour it a little bit aggressively, but that's okay. Doesn't look like it bothered it too much. And it almost all fit in there. There's only a little bit left in the can. Yeah, look at the clarity on that. That is just as clear as mine is. You can see straight through that. It's got a nice brown color to it. That is beautiful. Let me see if I can bring it closer to the camera so you guys can get a good look at that clarity. Look at that. See the fingers right through there. Yeah, that's very nice. Nice job, Dave. Is a gorgeous looking beer. Nothing in there at all. You can see straight through it. It's got a nice brown color. So, got a decent size head on it. It's probably, I don't know, finger and a half, almost two fingers. Probably some of that due to my aggressive pouring. Uh, it's got a nice sort of frothy head on that, so that might be sticking around for a little, bit, a little bit there. It's got some good uh, tight bubbles on it, and you can actually see, I could see the uh, the upside down snowstorm going on in there, as Craig would say from Craig Tube. Um, yeah, so it uh, looks like it's pretty well carbonated and that's, that head might stick around for a minute. Now, I don't know anything about this yeast, so I brought it up here on my tablet and I just wanted to kind of go through it quickly. Maybe it'll, it'll help pull out some descriptors because I am terrible at that. Uh, it says for the Safale T58, the right phenolic yeast for English and Belgian style ales. Specialty brewer's yeast selected for its strong fermentation character, intense fruity and phenolic flavors, especially banana, clove, and peppery notes. Suitable for a great variety of wheat-based beers and fruity spice-oriented styles. Yeast with a medium sedimentation forms no clumps but a powdery haze when resuspended in the beer. So, let's see what we have here. Yeah, it's got a nice, um, it's got a nice aroma to it. Very clean. Not really picking up any of the um, any of the hops that are in this. Definitely getting a little bit of kind of like a nutty uh, aroma to it. Sort of like like what you would get off of something like a Vienna maybe or a Victory kind of. It's got a good multi. Uh, yeah, you can tell that it's going to be a nice multi beer just from the aroma of it. That's quite nice and, you know, pretty, pretty clean. Not a whole lot more I can say about that. But yeah, it's got, it does have a nice, um, <clears throat> sort of like a, like a nutty, uh, toasty kind of a nose to it. So without further ado, cheers. Let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah. That's quite nice. Definitely follows through with that, with that nose. Um, getting some of that nutty character there. Got a good malt, very good malt backbone to that. Very, very malt for beer. Not tasting any of the hops there. You know it's there, of course, just to balance everything out. Otherwise, this would be very cooling. But 
Yeah, you're not. I'm not picking up any of the hop character, but I'm picking up a lot of the malts from this. And yeah, um, <clears throat> just listening to some of the or looking at some of the descriptors that are, they're talking about here for the fermentation characters. Um, yeah, I would say it definitely has a little bit. To me, it has a little bit of a like a fruity or like a maybe like a bubblegum uh, ish kind of taste to it, kind of there going on with it. It's a little subtle. Uh, obviously, the the brown ale characteristics of this. The uh, actually getting a little bit of chocolate now that I taste that again. With the the breadiness, the the nutty uh, character with this, it's kind of getting a little bit of that um, that fruity or bubblegum kind of taste um, going on, sort of behind the scenes. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, that's a great job, Dave. Very clean, very nice style beer. I really enjoy this. My keg's almost gone. I'm sure uh, Dave's been drinking up on his too. You gotta be proud of this one, buddy. Very, very nice beer. Great recipe from Exit 12. He's the one to put this together. I can't wait to dig into some more of these. Uh, come check us out, brewtubers.com. Come join the fun. And uh, hey, you can be a part of this yeast experiment too for the, uh, for the next one, whatever we do next year. Well, I got a few more of these to get through, so I'll leave you to it. Have a good night, everybody. Cheers. Nice job, Dave. It's a good representation of a brown ale. It's amazing.